It is Wednesday, August 3rd in the MLB, and I'm Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back with our three best picks of the day. We've got our favorite two game picks, our no one first inning. Our hit streaks continue on. we got a lot coming your guys' way. As always, guys, just do us a real quick favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. It, it takes 0.5 seconds out of your day, and it really does help us grow this channel. Austin and I can't do it without you guys. Baseball season has been really fun because of you guys in the community calling our shot number one. And Logan, let's not even recap yesterday. Let's hop into our favorite picks of the day. Uh, of course, we're kidding. We're going to at least recap. Although I wish I didn't have to. It was a. It was not a great day. Let's be a say the least. We're going to recap. Over three. Rays, they got no hit through the first five innings. They let Gosman throw a master class. We got ruined on a no run first inning. Not even by the Yankees, by a home run. And Gallon, five Ks. Right on the hook. It was basically his last batter that he struck out. Then they took him out. An absolutely brutal day. But you know what? Our hit streak challenge continues to go profitable. Logan moves Take Mac McNeil, moves him to day eight. Paul Goldschmidt moves me to day five. We've been on a pretty good run. And if you've been parlaying our two hit players, you've been cashing pretty well. You've cashed four days in a row. So definitely take advantage of those. We'll have our hitters up in a little bit. So definitely check that out. But, Logan, I don't really have a lot more. I guess I have one more note. Thank you to all the people that came out to our trade deadline live stream. We had a live stream last night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And a lot of people, you guys, came out, showed love. If you want to go check out the rerun of it, it's basically our weekly podcast. It was posted right before this video. We certainly would appreciate it. And that's about all we got. Logan, what do you got for the people today? Yeah, let's talk about a team that we definitely touched on in, in that uh, trade special, right? We're going to the Cardinals versus Cubs. I'm taking the Redbirds. So, yes, I'm taking the Cardinals minus one and a half run line full game. Plus 120 odds on DraftKings. Look, I, lo- I absolutely do love the value. It's Austin showing here on the odds, Jim. This is the main reason why I'm taking this pick is, is value alone. Because you've got you've got a team that's so much better than its counterpart, right? You know, believe it or not, guys, in, in baseball, sometimes you just have to go value hunting. And I love Miles Michaelis today, right? He's he's due a, a good start versus the Cubs. Now, in the Cubs versus the Cubs, he's had mixed results. Five innings pitched four and runs, six innings pitched one earned runs versus the Cubs in, the, in his two starts. So one good. One bad. I'm expecting a, a, a good start for, for Michaelis because we actually backed him in, in, in his last start. Seven innings pitched, two earned run, and a, and a one whip. So he got back on track. You like to see that because, you know, some of his starts were, were a little bit shaky. And put, pitching at Bush Stadium, he's a good he's a good pitcher at home, right? 2.31 ERA and a 0.83 whip. So a, a whip under one, an ERA under three. Miles Michaelis. Is it is in line for a good start, especially against these Cubs bats, guys? Come on, Chicago Cubs, twenty second in batting average on the road, twenty first in OPS on the road. Hey, look, he should be able to navigate his way through there. Now, fluky stuff happens in baseball all the time. The Cubs could just randomly show up tomorrow. This happens. They they did uh, not show up uh, yesterday, but I, I expect him to be able to navigate it. And what I'm really also banking on is some run support for Michaelis. And, and that, that's going to come against Justin Steele. Seven innings pitched, one earned run versus St. Louis uh, in, in his one start versus the Cardinals. So, so that, that looks solid on paper, right? But a 1.43 whip, you know, walks are a real problem for Justin Steele. If you've ever watched him pitch, he's about as erratic as they come. He has really, really long innings, 1.54 whip on the road, and a 3.96 walks per nine ratio. You know, if you're looking at those numbers, you're like, Logan, those seem pretty high. They are high. I mean, he walks a lot of batters. He sometimes really can't locate the strike zone. If you're if you're backing Cubs in any sort of, of form or fashion, I, I just would recommend not watching him. He's 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 a really reckless pitcher. He, he's he's uh, the Cardinals should be able to capitalize. I really do hope so, especially considering he is a left handed pitcher in St. Louis. Third best in OPS versus lefties. Fourth in batting average versus lefties. A top five offense against left handed pitchers. Play like it today, Cardinals, right? St. Louis also fifth in batting average at home, 10th in OPS at, uh, at home as well. Top 10 offense, uh, you know, m- metric speaking at, at home. They should hopefully play like it. And you know what? Even if Justin Steele does sort of pitch, you know, well, there should be run opportunities late in the Chicago Cubs bullpen, right? But the Cubs, 20th in bullpen ERA. By comparison, St. Louis, 11th in bullpen ERA. The Redbirds need to get it done for us today, and and the value alone is is what is driving this pick. If you go, if you want a line read, and and the, the line read might be telling you Cubs in this one, but I don't care. I I'm picking Cardinals because I could not sleep at night betting the Cubs and Justin Steele. But Austin, what do we got for the hit streak today? Yeah, so we're gonna hopefully continue our hit streak props. We've been on a pretty good run, like I said, Logan. You're on day eight. I'm on day five. We're gonna start with you first because we've been in a good groove. Going to Jose Altuve, the Astros. Look, love the pick. Great hitter. I think he can get certainly get it done for you. One hit against Brian Bello. 
think he can do that. I'll be picking Alec Bohm of the Phillies. Now, with truth be told, we're actually recording this on Tuesday night, so we don't have the odds for either of these two pitchers, but I do think, or either of these two hitters, but I do think they have a good chance. Alec Bohm going to get up against Charlie Moore and very good splits versus him. And if I'm not mistaken, Bohm went hitless yesterday as he did not have a hit going into the eighth inning. So I don't think he got a hit today. So count on those two guys. Move us to day six and nine. Hey, that would be pretty nice if you've been asking myself. But I'm moving to the Nationals. Team total, taking their under three and a half runs, minus 120 on FanDuel Sportsbook. See a couple other books, a little bit more juice on BetMGM. Probably wouldn't take that. But minus 125, minus 135, fine with that. Now, obviously, you know, if you were going to watch our trade deadline video, we probably cover the Nationals in a good amount. As, as a lot of you may know, or maybe you don't know, Juan Soto has been traded. And so has Josh Bell, arguably their two best hitters going to the San Diego Padres. Now, what they got in return won't necessarily bolster their lineup today, or maybe it will, or maybe it will come in and hurt them, whether that's Luke Voigt or whatnot. But we talked about this, and we saw that trade. And what did everyone do? They came out hammered, throwing it with Mets. They had DeGrom on the mound. No way they would lose. No way they would let the Nationals score many runs. No, they stole everyone's coin. Went in 5-1, to one, just shutting out. DeGrom pitched well, but it was when the relievers came in that lit them up, and they won. Now, if you got to look at it, four of those five runs came off the home run. That's a little bit fluky, if I'm going to say so myself. And we're looking at Washington, just 26th in OPS at home, 21st in batting average at home. Those numbers were helped by Juan Soto and Josh Bell. Don't think they're going to go all too well. Now, today they'll have Chris Bassett on the mound, six innings pitch, zero earned runs versus Washington back in April. And we're looking at his splits against all these hitters that arguably probably won't be able to name a ton of the hitters. But only the real legitimate threat is Nelson Cruz hitting 286 versus Bassett. But you got a lot of other hitters hitting 200 or worse. I'm not very confident in this lineup being able to score four-plus runs in back-to-back games. I think the bullpen will dial it back in after absolutely doing a sell job yesterday. The Mets know they got to take this game. They got a big series coming up against the Braves in a couple days, maybe tomorrow, maybe in two days. They need this win, and I think they're going to come out here and win this one pretty good. Not a lot of strikeout props. I've been, I've been having bad luck. I've been tossing out straight L's. So uh, hopefully this one can go my way. We're taking Nationals. Team total under three and a half rounds is my favorite pick of the day. But, Logan, you know what time it is. It's Nerfy Nation time. You need to grab those flags, wave them in chat. If you're not a CUS officer, go become one. And we're going to cash out. We've lost two in a row. I don't see us losing three in a row today. Today we are going to be going to the Reds and Marlins. Taking the Noah on first thing, minus 135 on Caesars. We got odds for this one, and we're going to ride with it. Now, obviously on the bump will be Sandy Alcantara. Look, if there's ever going to be a guy I'm going to back, it's going to be Sandy. 17-4 and four on Noah on first innings. And look, you look at this Reds team that just traded away, traded away Brandon Drury, so they're off top off of the lineups going a little downhill. Still tied for 13th and first inning runs, so they have been able to get some runs. But I think Alcantara, I mean, come on, one of the best pitchers in the league. I think he can get it done for us. Hopefully he can give me those first three outs. Who's, the, who's pitching for the Reds today, Logan? Yeah, it's it's scheduled to be Mike Miner, and right, and then you and now you might look at Mike Miner and be like, oh, he's he's a meatball thrower. Well, at least not in the first inning, right? Nine and one on Nerfies this year, so he's he's been pretty solid in the first. He usually implodes later on in the game. But Miami, not a good first inning run team, right? 29th in, in first inning runs this season, and Miami also. I'm gonna knock on wood real quick, but Miami hasn't scored a first inning run in four straight games. I believe in Mike Miner to be able to hold it down a little bit. The over-under set predictably to seven. You got two pretty bad offenses and and two uh, pitchers that I think can at least hold them down mo- most often. I mean, look at the we'll – just do a quick line read of this game and say, why the heck is Sandy Alcantara minus one and a half, like really good plus value, right? It's probably going to be a lower scoring close game, right? At least that's what the books are expecting. So Nervy Nation, we need no runs in the first inning, no garbage solo home runs. No garbage errors, and we should be able to fly these flags again. Let's go. Yeah, and you know what? If this nerfy doesn't hit, I'm going to go to a Marlins game, and I'm going to give them hell. And I actually will be at the Marlins-Cubs game on Friday. So yeah. sell us good. Sandy, I'll see you in the dugout, buddy. Just saying that. Or the Marlins bats. I don't care. Whoever sells us, I'm coming for their head. That's our nowhere in first inning. Obviously, we're going to go into our parlay of the day. Yeah, Logan's punching them. Yeah, exactly. Rocky Balboa on them. <laughs> Uh, boom, our parlay of the day. We're going to be going with this one. Look, we've had have bad luck on the parlays, but today feels like a good day. It's a Wednesday. Can't spell Wednesday without a W. We're doing the Brave Phillies under seven and a half runs, full game. Tigers plus one and a half on the run line, plus 263. Pretty good odds on that one. We're going to ride with it. I think we got a good chance. So we appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. We're still going to be donating a bunch of money at the end of the month. So hit that subscribe button to help donate. Hit that like button too. Go check our trade deadline pro, uh, podcast, which is live popping up on the screen. Go check that out. Appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. Tomorrow's video, you'll see me in a change scenery. Look forward to that. See you guys then. Peace.